whale back about five or six years ago. This whale washed up on our beach here. It washed up at the only place we have any access to the beach. It has it washed up about 25 there. gray whale. Um, it's probably the first or second year going up. Had killer whale teeth marks along its body. Had, its tongue was missing, suggested that the killer whales had separated from its mom and drowned it and ate the tongue. And so we were able to, because I was on a permit, um, all legal, harass sea lions uh, to collect their poop for another research project. We were able to drag it up here in the field, and it now awaits a bit of loving care and attention to get it reassembled. And why did you have to uh, fence it off, Don? Oh, uh, because coyotes would carry apart bones and take bits apart. So that's why we fenced it off. I was told that. And I'm too lazy to bury it, and it's a bigger impact if you bury it. Plus, I wouldn't be able to show it to all the students. Oh! Students. Yes. A lot of students have come by and seen a gray whale. So 25-foot gray whale. For several years in a coastal prairie, this is what it looks like. <laughs> Not everybody has a whale in their front yard. Some people do.